I think a lot about the role that consumers energy plays in growing Michigan and we're inextricably linked to the health of Michigan and the prosperity of Michigan. And so when I talk to my own team about growing Michigan, it's all about making Michigan welcoming, making Michigan a place where people of, not in spite of our differences, we're able to thrive, but because of our differences, we as a state are able to thrive and to prosper. You know, I remember um, a time when I had joined, recently joined uh, Consumers Energy and CMS Energy. And I was at a, an employee meeting. We were going around the table and people were introducing themselves and telling a little bit about themselves. And one of my coworkers said, um, uh, yes, I um, live here in Jackson. I have a cat and a roommate. And that's about all she said. And I was like, that's interesting. And so we went around and, you know, I have two kids and I, you know, I married for 42 years and all these things go around the table. I was walking out of the room, I realized to myself, oh, she's gay. But she couldn't say that out loud here at work yet. And I realized in that day, like that, that's got to change. And we have to be a place where people can be exactly who they are and they are loved and, and cared for and enabled to be their best self every day at work. I think to myself, if people are going to be who they are and be celebrated and loved for it, it has to be that safe of a work environment. I think a lot about the people who in my own career advocated for me and many of whom were white males. People in the majority who advocated for someone like me at the time who was in the minority to be successful. And what I'm hearing from a lot of my coworkers who are in the majority is they want to be valued too and they wonder where they fit in a new diverse and inclusive culture. And so we've held a series of what we call lunch and learns where we really tackle some of the stickier issues in diversity and inclusion. And so the more that we can express our differences and feel curious and fascinated about our differences, the more inclusive we can create a work environment where every person is valued and included. We were taught to stand up for others. And I do, I do think it was part of my family values growing up. Uh, as an executive, I think they've parlayed into having faith in people and knowing that every person has something of value to offer. And if you can untap the full potential of every person in our organization, how amazing we would be. It is my honor to lead an energy company during this transition. And our commitment to not just the bottom line, but the triple bottom line of people, planet, and prosperity has fundamentally changed what we believe is the energy future for Michigan. We've already retired seven coal plants of our 12. Uh, we did that before, I would argue it was fashionable. We did it because it was good for Michigan. It was good for people, it was good for the planet, and it leads to the prosperity for Michigan. I think all parts of the community have a role to play in bringing to life our clean energy future. The faith community specifically uh, has an opportunity to help remind all of us that God's creations to be treasured and cared for. And so when we think about caring for the planet, we spend an inordinate amount of time figuring out what would a company who has taken a stand for a triple bottom line do that cares for this great creation. I know I personally feel blessed to be charged with caring for and shepherding our company through this era and through this time. My opportunity as a leader is not an accident, that I have an obligation to uh, fulfill my personal leadership commitment and my personal leadership values through how I lead this company. And I imagine a day in many, many years from now in my garden when I'm a grandma and I have a, a little grand daughter with me in that garden and she looks up at me and she says grandma what's climate change and I look at her and say something we fixed a long time ago